Hey everybody, we're back to the Pontiac V8 Speedmaster cylinder heads. Um, my initial video I put up about these cylinder heads, I felt pretty positive that they were a decent casting. Uh, you know, looks can be a little bit deceiving. So, got finally got the heads uh, completely pulled apart. Uh, they're going to have to have new uh, valve guide seals because, of course, you know, Speedmaster used the absolute cheapest valve, uh, positive valve guide seal that you can buy. And I'd rather the customer have a lot better experience than that. But I went ahead and threw some Dicom on the intake ports, uh, properly aligned the uh, Felpro 1233 Rammer 4 uh, intake gaskets. Um... It's less than optimal. I don't want to bash them too severely yet, but now that we're to the point where we need to start doing some port matching between the intake and the head, I'm not altogether happy with the way this is turning out. All right, the first thing I want to point out to you, and I don't want to, you know, totally bash these cylinder heads until I know more about where we're headed, but, I put I tell, put a lot of effort into properly locating and securing this gasket. Here's what I found so far. And I will show you a more straight up and down shot of this port here in a minute, but I want to start here. The walls are fine. I have no complaints with the actual gasket match they did to the walls, okay? They've hit that pretty much right on the money. I'm not worried about that. The next area is an area of lesser concern, and let me explain why. Over on the roof of the port, we have gasket overhang. I have yet to measure how much gasket overhang we have, but you can definitely see my pointer is catching that gasket. So basically what we have is the roof of the intake port is slightly larger than the roof of the gasket. Okay. Well, since this gasket is properly located to this cylinder head and it was properly located to the intake manifold that's going to be going on here, we have an intake manifold that bolts to this intake gasket, right? Our intake manifold matches this opening exactly. No problems. So what you're gonna have is air that essentially drops in to this roof that is truly slightly larger than the intake manifold because it's like falling down stairs. When you're going from smaller to bigger, there's no protrusion, there's no obstruction the air isn't directly running into something and tumbling. Now, is it optimal? No. You would want, I mean, in a real, in a, in, in my engine, let's say, if I was going to run this combination of parts and I put that north wind on here, I would take and Dremel or grind whatever tool I had available and I'd slightly raise this gasket, right? Like maybe up to the inside of that blue line. I would just kind of eat away that gasket until it matched that roof perfectly. I'm not worried about the roof. I'm happy with the walls other than when you, if you can see in there, this machine step is close to 90 thousandths wide, okay? So just on the push rod side, the pinch point side of this intake port, it literally, they put the Ram Air 4 gasket size in here, went in just literally a quarter of an inch, maybe a little more, and just left this huge 90 thousandths wide step to a smaller port section with, I don't know. So we'll be trying to fix this hint i'll give you a small hint of the nightmare that is to come this is hard to fix 
because you cannot just straight shot carry this size into the port unless you use uh, copper tubes to seal where your push rod goes through. If you look at my pointer, sorry about that guys. If you look at my pointer, right behind, right behind this area is a half inch diameter hole that's been bored or drilled for a push rod pass through. Okay, good for them. The problem is that hole is right behind this wall. I mean, there is little to no material behind this step to fix this error. Like this is a total lack of judgment. Let's just say they didn't look far enough ahead when they were creating this head and this port to know this is not acceptable. And I'm gonna have to try, my goal is to be able to correct this issue without having to tube my push rod holes. Knock on wood, everybody say a prayer for me, because this I think is gonna be a challenge, but I'm gonna give it my, I'm gonna do my best, see what I can do. Look at that little gem. Do you see the floor of the port that's blue? Yeah, normally you don't mess with the floor of a port. I think it's a pretty well-known porter's uh, philosophy, Your guideline, or rule, whatever you want to call it. Let's just play devil's advocate. Let's say Speedmaster decided, hey, let's raise the intake port to get a better line of sight shot at our intake valve. Okay, that would be great. Do they sell a special gasket that still maintains the factory bolt orientation and then moves this intake port up? There's a, you know, let's just give them a little bit of credit. Let's do some Google searching and find, yeah. is there a Speedmaster special gasket that has the Ram Air 4 port dimensions but raises it up 128 thousandths. I'll go ahead and do the, the leg work and try to find it on the internet, but I've never heard of that. So before I put a burr to aluminum, I'm gonna do a, a thorough search and try to find this said special gasket. All right, guys, here's the bad news. Here's the update. What we have what we verified was even when a, a 1233 Felpro gasket, which is the intake manifold gasket speed master recommends for this cylinder head, when you properly locate it to the intake bolt holes, the ports do not match up. Repeat, the port does not match up. Just like I said in the beginning of the video, it has been verified though that the entire port opening has been raised 128 thousandths of an inch. So if you literally raise the gasket to match the hole in the head, it matches perfectly to the work they did cutting the head, but then the bolt holes don't line up. There is no intake manifold port alignment. Okay, because when you go, like people were saying, oh, just move your gasket up to the opening. No, you can't do that because the intake manifold is going to locate itself off of these factory bolt hole locations. So now you're going to have a port mismatch of 128 thousandths, top and bottom, roof and floor. So I was, you know, going through the catalogs, trying to find an alternative I didn't want to have to change it, but if I have to, I will. I found an option. Thank God I haven't started porting on these yet. I haven't put a burr to aluminum, thank God. All right, so we cannot run this cylinder head with a 1233 gasket and get port alignment to our intake. It's just not going to work. It's just not worth it. No, we're not doing that. Now, this gasket has a dimensional opening of 
one inch, 175 thousandths wide by 230, two, <laughs> two inch, 300 thousandths tall. Well, that is not the gasket that is supposed to be used, quote unquote, on this cylinder head. But if you look, you can properly locate the intake manifold bolts. The roof matches darn near perfectly, well within smoothing and working range, but the roof matches good, the sides match good, and all I'd have to do is a slight transition to the floor. I'd also have to go back and redo a little bit of the port work on the intake manifold, but I believe these cylinder heads would flow better if we're going to take advantage of this raised port, 128 thousandths raised port, this is the gasket I would choose to fix this problem. You know what I mean? Because I, I have little to no uh, material to remove on the top, very small amount to remove and, and blend on the floor. Sides are great. This is the gasket that'll fix it. But my customer was able to get in touch with Speedmaster's tech department and they are going to consult with their Pontiac, uh, I guess, cylinder head division or something. And they may, after seeing the pictures that I sent to my customer, who in turn, you know, sent it to Speedmaster, they might be sending him a new set of these heads. So thank goodness I haven't started making these work. Thank God I haven't started porting on them. Because I would waste, I would have wasted my time and maybe messed up his ability to get a set of heads, you know, swapped out or sent to him. So right now we're at a, an impasse. We're waiting on Speedmaster's decision of how they want to move forward concerning these cylinder heads. But in my mind, why not go ahead and, you know, take advantage of the raised port? It gives you a better line of sight to the back of the valve. Everything else is going to be, you know, you're basically ending up with a bigger port, bigger port in your cylinder head than you would if you ran the Ram Air 4 copy. So I think it's a win-win as far as port size, volume, and angle. Uh, more than likely, the this cylinder head, like I mentioned earlier, it's going to have to be tubed. I'm going to have to put in sleeves or tubes through the push rod pass-throughs to be able to properly fix this um, push rod wall, you know, dilemma. But I just wanted to give you guys the update. I'm not able to pour it on them yet. I'm not able to make them work because, you know, I don't know. We're still waiting on Speedmaster. I know I'm rambling, but this, I was just trying to make an ending to a video that I've been trying to compile for you guys. That's where we're at, guys. I hope that the cylinder heads that Speedmaster are sending out aren't all created like this cylinder head and people are just bolting them together and trying to run them. Because I guarantee if you put this head on a flow bench, it's not going to flow worth a darn. And I double dog dare you to bolt an intake to this thing with a 1233 gasket and have it flow tested because it's going to flow like dog crap i guarantee you but anyway as soon as i get some more information i will update you guys that way you can see you know sins of your father this has to be fixed and we've got to figure out how to make them work Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, put this on your Pontiac forums. Anybody who needs to know, have more information about these Speedmaster Pontiac heads, be forewarned. I hope you don't end up with a set like this.